Right, what is up you guys? And of course as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle, which is truly the Scarander. And today we're going up against Super Dan. <laughs> Love that nickname. And uh, what I really can assume is an OU battle. So really really looking for exciting stuff. And the thing I'm using is actually it has yet to actually give me wins, but I would be lying if I didn't have fun using it. So um I'll just keep doing that. I mean, I love it. I think it's cool. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, screens. And we see Galvinchula, which is not annoying. Um, Rillaboom is like the worst, isn't it? Um, Rillaboom is going to be super tough. Sponge lot could probably sponge it. Haha. <laughs> no pun intended. But I'm gonna just lead off with Groot. The way I see it, if he leads off with Grimmsnarl as a screener, that's gonna be mildly annoying. But I think we should do alright. Uh, and if he leads off with Rillaboom, then you know I'm have to throw out my Pokemon throughout the bad. But the way I see it, Galvantula is a lead and uh, potentially uh, Grimmsnarl is a lead. And as I can stop the screens, I'm just going to go for as much damage as possible. Let's see, Galvinchula. So it makes sense. And it didn't have any floaters, so Earthquake might be safer on Nerve. Because he could be carrying Energy Ball. And Thunder is just fine. Um, hmm. <laughs> Head smash. I love myself some head smash. There's a stick web. Effortless. And here's the head smash. Come on, don't be sash. Don't be a coward. Yeah, coward. Okay, so his play here is I can kinda if I if I would make a dumb or dumb if I would make a play, I'd probably go for Thunder or uh, or energy ball. So don't enjoy funders. They're gonna send in Bernadictus. I don't really want to switch this Pokemon in as it is my number one switching versus uh, versus uh, Rillaboom. But quite frankly, like I have nothing else but this. Let's see, Bug Buzz. That's way better for us. Unfortunate part here is, is that well, actually everything he does against me are assisted. So does he have a spinner on his own? He really doesn't. He has no way himself of getting rid of hazards. So I'm actually gonna get up stealth rocks. I think Thunder is his main play. Thunder Wave. It's not the worst, but you no, know, it's like unfortunately getting this guy crippled. But we get the rocks up, which is great. But Sylveon is like a, just a play straight out. He comes in here and uh, just pressure me. So... Earthquake. It feels safe. So he's a Thunder Wave. So he's absolutely one of those anti leads with Bug Buzz and most likely Thunder. So I'm not convinced it's... He actually decides to keep it, even with Stale Frogs active. That's kind of... That's kind of tough. A very hard decision to make. And on Cripples, it doesn't matter. Now, the bigger question is, was I soundproof or am I bulletproof? Questions I never ask myself. Not that I stay in anyway, but I want to... I want to gauge this. Let's see. Because if I'm soundproof, I am not, so it doesn't matter. He's going to absolutely ruin me. Um, damn, Sylveon like, puts on the pressure naturally here. I really hope it isn't offensive. <laughs> like, great strat. That, that ought to do it. 
how much will it do? Call mind. Ugh. This musical fire is gonna be great. Leftovers. Okay, cool. Um, I still want to spin. This is one of the few instances where I really feel that would have been real nice had I had something. Um, Hyper voice. Oof. <sighs> I'm tempted a lot, actually. Alright, cool. Um, no webs for him. Question is... Question is... Do I need this guy? I mean, I kind of don't. I really, really don't think I need it, but at the same time, I have no, like, real switch in here after that. We all belong here. Um, because I basically need uh, or hope that uh, Groot can get some damage in here because everything else is gonna have to be get flattened. So I hope this scares him because I think Sylveon is faster. Even with me having max speed. I don't believe I take this hit at all. This is me, this is a fake out. I am faster, yes! <laughs> Boom, bitch! <laughs> oh, pseudo Wudo, you are a golden nugget. This is. Oh, I like my pseudo Wudo probably a bit too much. Probably a bit too much. Um, in my head, it makes sense to bring in Rillaboom. And uh, also, I only have one play versus Rillaboom. Boom, Bastic. Yeah, looks about right. Um, I mean, Grassy Surge is great and all, but have you ever heard of our Lord Jesus, our Savior? Because. Um, I want to reduce the damage as much as possible, right? It makes sense. Get his train out of here. I really hope it does go for Grassy Glide and nothing else. Show me your moves. Drum beating. Cool. You know, for being not boosted, I, I argue it still did probably a bit too much. Let's see, his plays. I want to save you for a while, I really do. So, Bernadict as it is. And um, Body Press. Knock off. You know what? That's fair. It doesn't bother me as much as I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, body presses play. I think his sack plays Galventula. U turns. That's kind of up there. And then bring in Lapras. Which I have a hard time believing is faster. So, yeah, it's gone. I really wish Iron Defense, but it all depends if I get fully paralyzed and then it never mattered. It never mattered. Um, ooh, I'm getting nervous. Like, there is a lot of checking combo needs to do. Yeah, Lapras, Gmax. And really, for this, I really need to attack him. And hope, really, really hope I'm faster even with the paralyzation. I am not. Please take this, Bernadictus. Ooh, buddy. Yes. 
Yes. There we go. Labra's gone. That's, that's a relief. I was kind of waiting on that veil, but it also means that I am in trouble for all the wrong reasons. Sent out fish. Or fia. And it's heavy duty boots. And, uh, I mean, my terrain ends here, doesn't it? So I kind of want to activate this right now. The way I see it, like his moves is Sucker Punch, Power Ball, um, High Jump Kick, possibly Bulk Up, and I'm just gonna Strength Sap this. Straight up, Iron Head. That's kind of up there. That's kind of up there, I, I like that. That's weird, I like weird. Not a big fan of fairies, I guess. Right, Strength Sap. Oh, okay. So that's the game we play. Oh, it's this variant of it. It's gonna be a lot of Ribeiro player here. I really hope Strength Sap work on Dynamax Pokemon. Please do. At least I'm faster, which is like the main aspect of it all. Give Max Fireball. Great animation on that one. Yeah, we stomach that just fine. Let's try to do another one of those. And every fun I see today, I stall through <laughs> this type of situations. I mean, this Gmax Fireball is just so heavily resisted, it's not even funny. Um, we're not resisted, but underpowered. Let's see, his remaining Pokemon are Grim Snarl that follows. I think we're good. Go for Phantom Force, basically waste. Oh, he withdraws, damn it! Then he kinda got me. Then he kinda got me. Depending on his set, actually. Toxic Orb? Wait, what kind of set is this? I think you choose the wrong orb. <laughs> I have all the reason to think you choose the wrong orb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, check out this society. <laughs> oh, Craig, you bastard. So I guess I'm the joke now then. <laughs> hmm. Should have attacked. <laughs> I was ready to laugh at him. Look at this. Oh, he can't. <laughs> Not so super now, Dan, huh? <laughs> no jokes aside. That was a cool game. Unfortunately, it ran... This is the first win on this team. This is awesome. Cinderace got nothing on Drifloom. And Drifloom was going to easily win that game. We had Rillaboom left, which couldn't beat its set due to strength 7 Will-O-Wisp. And what? What was that Grimson was going to do? Was dual screening with Trick? Yeah, it was over. It was way over already. And of course... Poor, poor Cinderace. They banned you to the Shadow Realm. You are banned from this meta. But what do you know? All you need is Drift Plane to beat it, silly ass. Even if it's Dynamax, it's no problem. So, with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching. And have a great day, everyone.